Hi guys, welcome to day six of Stitch Mania. It's Monday morning and I hope I got my microphone figured out. I thought I had it figured out, um, but every time I edit the video, I sound like I'm talking like I have something over my mouth like that. And it's very annoying and I couldn't figure out why because I thought my microphone was uncovered, but I thought the microphone was at the bottom of my phone because you would think when you hold it that it would be here, but no, I think my microphone is right here on this side. So see, it's louder when I'm over here on the top of my phone and over here. So let's hope that the sound quality is better for you guys. Of course, now where's my camera up here? Okay. So yeah, I hope that the sound quality is better for you guys and uh, I'll just keep working on it. I don't know. So it's Monday, May 6th, sixth day of Stitch Mania. Let's talk about Mondays for a minute, guys. I don't know. There's this weird phenomenon that happens. I'm sure I'm not the only one that this happens to, but Friday, I try to make sure, you know, the laundry is, you know, caught up as well as it can be with two teen boys, that the house is somewhat straightened up as it can be with two teen boys. Um, and I go into the weekend thinking, yeah, you know, life is pretty, pretty, I got a little relaxation time coming in on the weekend, you know, I can relax a little, let some things go. And then something happens. I wake up Monday morning and I look around and it's like, I'm hit with this to-do list that's three miles long. And I don't know how it happens over the weekends. It's like the hampers fill up, the house gets trashed, <laughs> weeds cropped up all over the yard, and it never fails. How prepared I become on Friday to make Mondays easier, I just realized you just can't ever take a day where you just don't do anything. As, as you know, life just keeps on going even when we stop to relax. It's kind of like that going on vacation, you know. You're just hit with so much extra work when you get back from vacation. And that's how it is every Monday morning for me. It's just, ah, Mondays are crazy. I just feel like I just have so much to do. So I'm filming actually a little bit earlier today than I normally do. So, which means my stitching day got cut a little bit shorter because um, I usually get a lot more stitching done in the mornings. But when I start thinking of all these things I have to do today, I'm like, I shouldn't really be sitting here stitching anymore. And then, you know. I just don't enjoy myself. So I didn't have, I didn't get a lot of stitching progress done on this. So this was my whip I picked yesterday, just in case you're joining me for the first time. This is Eagle's Majesty by Dimensions. And uh, I got, so this is how it looks so far. And I decided to uh, attach my hoop in this area right here. And I was going to work on some of the rocks. And uh, I didn't get started stitching until pretty later in the day. Um, because we just had some things to do just to, you know, n nothing big, but we, uh, my husband and I sat down to watch a show, uh, a couple episodes, of, episodes of Longmire. We've been starting to watch that on Netflix and that's a pretty good show. So, uh, my son, my older son was playing his video game in the, the TV room upstairs. So we decided to go down to the basement and the lighting is not good down there. And I thought, oh, no big deal. I'll just get my little clip on light, which I love to use this. This is my little, uh, it's called a it's a mighty bright. I've actually had this for quite a few years and I like it. It's, it's actually very bright. Uh, when you first replace the batteries, the batteries last for quite a while on that, but, um, I don't know. It's pretty old. They may have maybe have a newer version of that, but I clip that on my hoop and clip my pattern on there. And you know, it usually works out well. So I got sat down to get some stitching done and I'm like, okay, it's, it's, you know, I don't have a lot of light around me, you know, and, uh, I looked at the pattern to see what can I, you know, what thread can I pick or what symbol can I pick that I could work on that was just really easy. Well, every symbol I looked at was a blend, a blended thread, and there were only a few stitches and they were all kind of spread out where I really would have had to do a lot of counting and a lot of concentrating. And I couldn't find really any area on the pattern that was somewhat easy to do in low light. So I was, it was really slow going. I was watching the show and just intermittently trying to, you know, get my blended thread. So what I got done was basically these few, this blended thread right here. And then, okay, this, this, uh, light cream colored thread was not a blend, but there were only just a few stitches in that. So I did that one first. And then I did this, this blend right here. And then you can see that same color is right over there. And that's all I got done. And then this morning I got up to work on it. I, I woke up a little bit earlier and I thought, oh, I'll get some stitching in. And I, I think I was working maybe in this area up here. But anyway, this little area, 
Oh, so yeah, last night I, I think I worked just in that area and did the cream stitches. This morning I woke up and did this and I had to do it three times. I had to take that out and do it three times because I kept counting wrong. So this was just a low, slow progress. And I thought, you know what? I'm going to take another flex day with this today and work on it another day because I have those 10 extra days to play with, nine extra days now. And uh, in case you're joining me, it's because I have 21 whips and I wanted to get them all worked on in 31 days of May. So that gave me like 10 free days. Um, but I really should save those because there are just maybe some days I don't get any stitching done at all. And I, I just, this project isn't one I want to dedicate an extra day on. So I'm putting this one away. And I'm going to pick another one. And uh, if I go like gangbusters and get everything done I need to get done today, I may... I may get some stitching done, but probably not till late tonight because my older son has a hockey game. Yeah, so his game's at 8.15. I don't know. I'm not going to get probably much stitching in today, but I usually get more done in the morning. So tomorrow morning I'll work whatever whip I pick. But yeah, you just, you're seeing my flustered Monday morning look right now. <laughs> so I did want to show you something really cool. I made this needle minder. I bought this little charm at Hobby Lobby, I think think they just have uh, like kind of like a charm and jewelry wall I, I don't know what this was it might have had a oh yeah I can tell that I cut the little it, it was like a maybe a necklace charm it had a little hoop on the top that I can tell I cut off I think this is so cool because if I can get my needle out of there and actually if this focuses I just want to show you it's really cool see how his talons are sticking up I think it's really cool that the needle fits right in his talons can I get that in there straight yeah Ooh, right side. Can you see how it looks like he's holding the needle in his talons? I think that's so cool. <laughs> but as, as cool as that is, I don't like to leave my needle there because I feel like it's not stable. So I still like to tuck it under him. But I don't know. It's kind of cool. He's just like got his talons there. Like, let me hold your needle for you. Okay, I'm weird, I know. All right, guys, let's put this away and pick another one so that I can get started with my busy day. Um, okay, close my eyes one maybe from the front no I'll pick the second one over ah oh why do I have a feeling about this one that's not a good feeling is it the fabric I'm not sure but something about me tells me I wasn't enjoying stitching this and I don't know why Hmm. It's beautiful, though. I love, I love, love, love the pattern. I did vintage. Which one did I do, guys? Vintage flowers or vintage birds? I did vintage birds, vintage animals. But I do own vintage stars and vintage flowers. So both of those I want to do. And, yeah, I don't know what it is about this one. I feel like I either had to, I kept making mistakes or something. But there was something about this that I put it away and it didn't have a good vibe with it when I put it away. So let's change that, guys. Let's take this out, work on it, give it a good vibe again. Yeah, I don't remember. Let's see where I left off. Oh, I even, I even have it on the hoop. I must have just threw this thing in the bag quickly. Oh, my needle minder's stuck on something. Okay. Here's where we are. Oh, I was wondering where that hoop went. That's the other half of my uh, Morgan hoop, hoop stand. All right. This is where I'm at, guys. Luckily, the alphabet has been done because I don't really like stitching letters. So the alphabet has been done. I started with some animals. And yes... I feel like there was something, I feel like that's what it was, is that I had to stitch this squirrel a couple of times or something. I don't know. I don't know why. It's cute though. So yeah, we need to get back to this. I need to give, I need to give this one some love again. And I don't really, you know, relatively speaking, I don't have a ton left to do. I mean, I got the alphabet done. And yeah, so hey, let's shoot for just getting... Maybe I'll uh, either get this flower done. If I get some extra stitching time, what should I do? The fox or the raccoon? That raccoon's pretty cute. Or maybe I'll start with that flower down there. I don't know. Let's try to start and finish a motif. 
I don't know why I'm referring to us as let's, because I guess I feel like you guys are with me here. Thank you so much for all of you that have been watching my daily videos and commenting. I appreciate you so much. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. Let's hope I got my microphone figured out. It is now 10 minutes and 20 seconds, so I need to say goodbye so I can keep this at 10 minutes for you guys. And I'll check in tomorrow and let you see uh, how I'm doing. All right. Bye, guys. Talk to you tomorrow.